Rememory is about searching your memories for the truth of your past and uh, is that a healthy thing to some people or unhealthy to others? Um, what do we do when we uh, are confronted with the truth of your past? Rather than what we sort of fabricate as the years go along to uh, protect ourselves. I play uh, a number of characters, a number of names. I hide my identity for a while. Um, a gentleman uh, played by Martin Donovan uh, is a, a scientist who invents a machine that can record people's memories and it has an impact on the people around him and I investigate that. It seems like something everyone would have thought of at some point because the seed of the idea just began with um, I think something I feel like a lot of people think of as is if you you know as an adult if you were to stand in the space of your past in your actual memory that it would it would be different than you remember it you know and that opportunity you know it's like we we, we go through time and we our memories get filtered by other memories and other experiences and so you kind of get further and further away from the truth of that memory. So that, that was the, the seed of the idea, and uh, I wrote it specifically for Peter. Peter, I think, has a very rare quality as an actor to, um, you know, reaches through the screen and takes your hand and says, come with me. He's obviously a phenomenal uh, actor. Take it easy. He's obviously a phenomenal actor, <laughs> but, but not, not every phenomenal actor can bring the audience with them. And for this story, because as he says, it's a bit of a mystery of who he is and what his past is, it was crucial that it was Peter to kind of allow the audience into to his journey because if there was if there was too much distance there, you need to you need your hand held and, and he's the one to do it. But it takes you through in terms of how we relate to technology and what is it that technology can do to add to the human experience or does it detract from the human experience and is the human being more sophisticated or less sophisticated than something that the technology can give. There was just aspects of the script that I think, I hope people will also find in the film that what we are as human beings is our memories. That means that we are, we have memories that are in our present selves based on how we process the things that have happened. I'm of, of an age now where I get offered a lot of establishment, you know, FBI, um, uh, CIA, um, cop, Lieutenants. So when a part like this comes along, it's it's a gift, and and you know I I had to jump at. Beyond that, I thought I really thought the film was very richly uh, written and very interesting, and I'm fascinated by the memory and this notion, this dream that this my character has of of technology being able to help us. I think those are all really interesting uh, things to explore. This was Anton Yelchin's, like, one of his last movies. Can you tell us a little bit about his character? Gordon's Machine has a test group before it's launched, and the test group comprises of a few different characters with different PTSD, a depression, an Alzheimer's, a normal, and then a um, photographic memory. So he's sort of, he's trying to study all aspects of memory. Anton plays the PTSD patient, sort of become unhinged from it, and he has an issue with with Gordon for inventing it and bringing back his past in a way that he didn't want it to. I was supposed to work with Anton before, so I'd, I'd known him before we, we shot this film, and uh, what he brought to this performance is actually pretty incredible. He's, he's um, mesmerizing to watch. It's still a bit surreal, to be honest. You know, it's not something that, um, it's not something that I've fully processed, but I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of, of him in it, and I'm proud of it being something that's a part of his legacy.